These are parents of children who lost their lives in school shooting. These are parents that have come up with a solution, a nonpartisan solution. Got it recommended by the Federal Commission on School Safety. They told me that the day after Parkland had a parent from Sandy Hook had a piece of legislation that they'd been trying to get passed but couldn't. They would help. They would have been 100 percent supportive of that piece of legislation coming to the floor and passing by unanimous consent. What the American people want is real solutions to, nation, to our nation's gun violence epidemic. We've had too many moments of silence, too many thoughts and prayers. Americans are sick of it. Many in this chamber are sick of it. Here's the sad truth about what happened yesterday and why I plan to object to my colleagues you see. Hardening schools would have done nothing to prevent this shooting. In fact, there were guards and police officers already at the school yesterday when the shooter showed up. One was a school police officer. Two were from the Uvalde Police Department. The shooter got past all of them with two assault weapons that he purchased. They couldn't stop him. The bill would not have protected those children. All right, guys, stories like this are why I hate politics sometimes, right? Well, I mostly hate politics all the time, but I talk about it because it's important. And also on top of that is because there's definitely an entertainment factor to it, okay? Um, however, with that being said, um, there's nothing entertaining when politicians start to play with people's lives, especially the lives of kids, because of politics right because they don't want to make the other party look good okay and uh that is what is happening right now right we have the leader of the democrats in the senate uh chuck schumer literally playing with the lives of children in this country because well we don't want to make the gop look good okay that that that, that is what's happening okay that is what is happening and this right here really pisses me off because um if Democrats and Republicans can't agree on what the Republicans are pushing forward here in regards to trying to uh, have uh, more safety measures in place at these schools to help prevent the loss of life of innocent teachers and children. If Democrats can't even agree with Republicans on that, then there is no hope. OK, this problem will never be solved because it becomes quite clear that the politicians, uh, Democrat Party, <laughs> at the very least, they don't want to solve the problem. Because apparently while they're debating gun control, right, a debate that will go on forever and forever and forever, they're totally fine with schools being vulnerable, okay, uh, to lunatics coming in and, and killing kids, right? They're totally fine with that. Apparently they like that because, hey, that makes the Republicans look bad, right? And that helps us push our agenda, okay? And I'm going to tell you guys, I actually talked about this uh, yesterday in one of my videos about, you know, uh, uh, the Uncle Luke video. Um, this came to my mind. Um... If this is the way politicians would have acted back in the 1950s and 1960s, we wouldn't have civil rights. We wouldn't have civil rights. You know why? Because um, most people, right, when they talk about the Civil Rights Act, they attribute that to the Democrats wrongly, okay? But they, they do it because Lyndon B. Johnson is the guy that signed it into law. However, uh, the Republican Party, from a percentage standpoint, was overwhelmingly in support of uh, the Civil Rights Act, even both of them, right? The Civil Rights Act of 1957 that was signed into law by Dwight D. Eisenhower and the Civil Rights Act of 1964, okay? That was done by Lyndon B. Johnson. Both of those Republicans, from a percentage standpoint, supported it more than Democrats. Now, uh, Republicans don't get credit for it, even though they should, especially the, Demo uh, the Civil Rights Act of 1964. They don't get credit for it. However, if at the time they said, you know what? We're not gonna get credit for this. Um, we should just vote against it, then we wouldn't have civil rights. We wouldn't have civil rights. But you know what? They did the right thing because they said, you know what? We don't care if we don't get credit for it. This is the right thing to do. However, again, when it comes to protecting children, for whatever reason, Democrats decide, ah, we can't do that, right? We can't put our differences aside and, and just pass some legislation now that I think should be bipartisan and everybody should be able to agree with regardless of what you do about guns, right? Regardless of what you do about guns, this GOP school safety bill is a no-brainer that both parties should agree on and there shouldn't even be a debate about it. But we are debating it because of fucking politics, okay? 
So yes, I'm sorry if I get upset about this story because I am so sick and tired of these goddamn politicians just shitting on the American people and children because, oh, I don't want to make the other party look good. I'm sick and tired of it because for whatever reason, when it comes to funding Ukraine, okay, and sending our money overseas to other folks and protecting them, they can agree on that. But when it comes to protecting kids in this country, oh, we can't agree on that. We can. There's a debate. There's no debate when they need to bail out big corporate America, right? When it comes to either the recession of 2008, which was partially caused by the fact that some of these uh, big financial institutions was taking financial risks that they shouldn't have took. Oh, we have no problem bailing them out. We can agree on that. Okay, giving taxpayer dollars to them. When it comes to the pandemic, we have no problems giving taxpayer dollars to big corporations to make sure they stay afloat. They have no problems agreeing on anything that has nothing to do with helping the American people. But when it comes time to help American people, when it comes time to helping save kids' lives, they want to argue and bicker about it all day, right? Instead of come up with some damn solutions. So anyways, I, I'm basically already giving you guys my opinion on this before I can even get into it, okay? But that's how heated I am about this stuff. Okay, I'm sick and tired of this, but let, let's 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 read about it because I want you guys to understand how how screwed up this is. What the Democrats are doing right now? Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat from New York, on Wednesday blocked a school safety bill that has Republicans crying foul after the horrific mass shooting at Uvalde, Texas Elementary School that killed 19 children and two teachers. Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin asked for the Luke and Alex Safety uh, Act to be passed by unanimous consent. The bill, named after Parkland, Florida, uh, shooting victims Luke Hoyer and Alex Schlotter, uh, would require the Department of Homeland Security to establish a federal clearinghouse on school safety best practices for use by state and local educational and law enforcement agencies, institutions of higher education, health professionals, and the public. And it will require DHS to, quote, collect clearinghouse data statistics, user feedback on the implementation of best practices and recommendations identified by the clearinghouse and any evaluations conducted on these best practices and recommendations. So basically saying, look, let's collect some data on this stuff, okay? Let's, you know, actually figure out what is going on? What are the best practices for schools better keep themselves safe? Okay, that, 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 that's basically the gist of it. Okay, for the most part. Again, now, is it doing a whole lot? Not necessarily. But at the same time, is it something that both parties should be able to agree on and say, hey, you know what? Yeah, let's do this. This is something we can do immediately. Yeah, I feel like it's a no brainer, right? Again, is it doing enough? Probably not. But you got to start somewhere, right? Let's agree on the small stuff. And then we can progressively debate more. But see, we don't want to do that. They don't want to do that in politics. The clearinghouse, which is already available at schoolsafety.gov, would be codified into law with the bill's passage. Schumer objected to Johnson's request, claiming on Twitter that the bill, quote, could see more guns in schools. The truth, uh, there were officers at the school in Texas. Schumer tweeted, the shooter got past them. We need real solutions. We will vote on gun legislation, starting with the Domestic Terrorism Prevention Act. Now, we're going to get more into the so-called Domestic Terrorism Prevention Act because you guys should already know what that's about. Okay, it's about white supremacy. Okay, which seems to be the only thing that Democrats are concerned about, right? They're not concerned about anything else, the economy, the border. Uh, crime. They're not concerned about anything except white supremacy, right? That's the only thing that the Democrats can uh, agree on, okay, or do anything about, right? The scary threat of white supremacy. But, um, you know, Chuck Schumer here is using what happened in Texas in, in regards to the reports that I hope are not true. However, the more I hear about this, the more I'm starting to believe that uh, the, the police were cowards, right, in that situation, okay? But I, I hope that that's not true, okay? But there's different stories that are coming out every single day. I don't think we're ever really going to get the truth about the police and what happened, whether there was a school resource officer there. We're not going to get the truth about this, okay, for a long, long time, okay? Uh, but with that being said, he's saying, well, we don't need armed guards at school, which, again, is something that I think, you know, most people, reasonable people would agree that, you know what, despite what we heard about what happened at Texas, at, at this school shooting, Okay, yes, I understand there was some things that happened at the Parkland school shooting as well, too, in which apparently armed security wasn't doing their job 
okay, and Columbine. The police also failed there as well, too. I, I understand that. Um, what you don't do is say, well, we just shouldn't have armed security, right? Th that's not what you say. What you say is that, hey, you know what? Um, we all agree that these schools should be more t protected, okay? And while we're debating gun control, okay, because they will never really agree on that. That will take forever for them to agree on something. While we're debating that, let's just do common sense things, which is just to have more armed security, okay? Because just because some police officers are cowards, right, or maybe cowards or whatever, doesn't mean that all of them are. I have faith that in this country, most law enforcement agencies, most police officers that have sworn to protect would not have uh, acted the way that the police did uh, doing this sh school shooting in Yovalde. Okay. I, I hope and pray that that's the case. So with that being said, what, what you do is, is that you should agree that, Hey, let's have more armed security at these schools. And we need to make sure that the armed police officers that are there. Okay. Are thoroughly trained and they should know that if you run away in a situation where there's a mass shooter and you decide not to kill that shooter, or again, again, not to do your job or not to chase after the shooter or to do anything you can to prevent these kids uh, dying. Um, you're going to wish that you died. OK, that that is what <laughs> the expectation should be. Right. They should be shamed. OK, the family should be shamed. The kids should be shamed. They should never be able to get another job again. OK, I'm not going to go as far as to, to call for execution, even though, again, you know, in, in the military, if you were a coward, if you ran away from battle, you know, back in the day, they used to kill you for it. I'm not going to go that far, but the expectation should be, right, for the people that do that job of protecting children is that if you run away, if you do not do your job, you will wish that you died, okay? And we get people in there that are the best of the best. We pay them what we need to pay them, whatever that is, to protect our children and to make sure that this doesn't happen. And we establish protocols that make it damn near impossible for a lunatic to come into a school and to commit a mass shooting and atrocities like the atrocities that we've seen throughout this country. That is the first thing that we should do, and that should be bipartisan. Democrats and Republicans should both be able to agree on that. Because again, these assholes can agree on sending $40 billion to Ukraine, but they can't agree on spending some money to help protect kids in school. Because I get it, I understand the whole gun control thing, that, again... That's an issue where they're, they're never really going to ever agree on that. So if you know you're not going to agree on that, why don't you agree on something that I think everybody can agree? Okay, th this at the very least will be a deterrent from lunatics trying to commit mass shootings at school. They will know that, you know what, schools are not soft targets anymore, right? It's going to be extremely difficult and hard for you to commit an atrocity at a school, right? Again, I understand there's situations that have happened where, you know, hey, maybe the good guy with the gun didn't do their job. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it can't work. We just need to make sure that we're hiring the right good guys and that the good guys with the guns that are supposed to be guarding these schools know that if you don't act, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, you're going to wish that you died. Okay? That, that's what we have to do. But again, these guys are useless, man. They're useless. They, they, they can't agree on anything except, <laughs> again, uh, bailing out other countries and bailing out corporate America. That's the only thing they can agree on. That's the only thing they can agree on. They can't agree on anything else. On the Senate floor, Schumer said the legislation would be considered if Republicans agreed to debate on the domestic terrorism bill. Johnson responded that, quote, it's a sad day for United States Senate, the Milwaukee uh, Journal Sentinel reported. Johnson later tweeted, it's not surprising that the Democrat leader would lie about the bill he blocked that parents and Parkland victims have been trying to pass for years. Democrats aren't looking for solutions. They want wedge issues that they hope will keep them in power. Sick. Yeah, that's true. 100%. Because the more mass shootings that happen, the more the Democrats can come out here and virtue signal against Republicans and say, well, Republicans are the ones that are allowing this. And every single solution that the Democrats put forward would not have stopped those mass shootings. Okay? Banning assault weapons is not going to stop mass shootings. Background checks are not going to stop mass shootings. Okay? That person... Again, I agree with background checks. I definitely think we should thoroughly vet people that are buying guns in this country. Okay? For sure. But let's not sit here and act like uh, that's a catch-all that's going to prevent all this. Because in a country where we have, what, 300 million guns or something like that? You know, some crazy number of guns? 
Um, I think we just have to live with the fact that we have a lot of guns, okay? And we're not going to be able to confiscate and take all the guns. But if the Democrats were actually serious about stopping gun violence, right? If they were serious, um, they would just ban all guns, right? That, that's what they would call for. Or at the very least, ban handguns, which are responsible for a majority amount of the so-called gun violence, okay? Now, obviously, I don't agree with that. I think that that's an uh, overstepping of uh, their authority and power, and that is a violation of the Second Amendment, right? So I would never agree with it. And furthermore, that would basically give the federal government a monopoly on weapons and guns in this country, which I really don't want, especially considering how the Democrats have shown us they're willing to be authoritarian, okay, and, you know, push things on uh, the American people that they simply don't want, okay? Uh, I don't want to end up like Australia, okay, a place where they basically confiscated all the guns and uh, the federal government, uh, there basically, again, abused the citizens, okay, during the pandemic, right, I don't want to end up like that, okay, also on top of that, again, I don't necessarily think that, you know, banning all guns or whatever is going to keep, uh, guns out of the hands of, uh, criminals, because, you know, uh, criminals <laughs> don't follow the law, right, which it's amazing how Democrats, when they're talking about abortion, right, they can agree that, well, if you make abortion illegal, if you make abortion illegal, then what's going to happen is that, you know, women are just going to get abortions illegally, right? They're going to get abortions anyways, just illegally. So if you agree that women are going to get abortions illegally because they're not going to follow the law, why don't you believe that criminals are just going to get guns illegally because they're not going to follow the law, <laughs> right? Again, Democrats just blow my mind with, with their logic sometimes. But if that's what they were actually calling for, let's say, again, banning handguns, I would say, okay, yeah, I actually believe you when it comes to, you know, you want to stop you know, so-called gun violence. That is the weapon that most people commit gun violence with, right? But to be quite honest with you, um, you know, most gun violence is, is just suicide, right? Most people, that, that's a vast majority of it. I think it's over 50%, okay? And then the rest of the gun violence <laughs> really is happening in, in these inner cities, right? Among gangs and criminals, you know, people that are going to get guns illegally, that are not going to follow the law, right? That are still going to terrorize their communities, Right? Again, which is why you're saying so many black people now going out and buying more guns and arming themselves because they're like, okay, we, we can't depend on police. We can't depend on the people that's running the city to protect us. We got to protect ourselves, right? That's what's happening. So again, <laughs> Democrats, they don't have real solutions, okay? They pretend like they do and they go out here and they push things like let's ban assault weapons, which again would do nothing to stop mass shootings as a way to rally their base against voting for Republicans. But every mass shooting that happens for them, it's good because, again, that's the ability to take the American people's minds off of inflation, the economy, the border crisis, the crime crisis. You know, our failures from a foreign policy perspective, it's an opportunity for them to take attention away from that and say, look, these Republicans are allowing kids to die. While at the same time, blocking bills in the Senate that both parties should be able to agree on because, you know, white supremacy is what we need to be worried about, Right. Again, these guys are clowns, man. They really are. And lastly, we, we can't forget about uh, trying to address who these shooters actually are, right? A lot of these shooters are young men that don't have fathers in their homes and probably don't have God in their life either, okay? Um, which suggests that America has a culture problem that we need to address uh, that is contributing to uh, some of these lunatics coming out here and committing these types of acts of violence, right? Again, the lack of fathers... Uh, and you know, again, the culture problem that we have in this country, I think is also a part of it, but you know, Democrats, they, they don't really like that either, right? They don't like men. They don't like the patriarchy. Okay. Uh, they want to change our culture when stuff like this did not used to happen, right? Stuff like this did not happen. It was almost unheard of, uh, to hear about a school shooting, right? Particularly before the 1990s, right? Almost unheard of, but things started to change, right? As our generation, our society got more progressive, you start to see stuff like this happening, right? It's for a reason. It's for a reason. It's not a coincidence. We have a culture problem in this country. Senator Rick Scott of Florida, who co-sponsored the bill, blasted Schumer as a liar and a hack. Senator Mark Rubio of Florida, who also co-sponsored the bill, tweeted, The truth, uh, Schumer blocked a bipartisan bill that makes school safety, uh, clearinghouse school safety.gov permanent because radical left-wing activists oppose it. Meanwhile, the Senate is set to vote Thursday on whether to advance the Domestic Terrorism Prevention Act, which passed the House last week after the Buffalo mass shooting that killed 10 people. 
Quote, that bill will require the domestic terrorism components of the DHS, the Department of Justice, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation to jointly report on domestic terrorism as well as create an interagency task force to analyze and combat white supremacy and neo-Nazi infiltration of the uniformed services and uh, federal law enforcement agency. Okay, so a bill that is, again, not going to do anything at all. What problems is that solving? Again, these people are more worried about white supremacy than they're worried about protecting children and kids that's like well the white supremacists are infiltrating law federal law enforcement agencies and all this other stuff it's like bruh i get i i don't understand this i don't understand this obsession with so-called white supremacy is it an issue sure but it is a small issue right it is not an issue that as a black person in this country i can testify i don't worry about that as a black person in this country, statistically speaking, I am more likely to be killed by somebody that looks like me than a so-called white supremacist. I am not worried about the white supremacists, okay? I am not. But the Democrats, you listen to them, I should be worried about the white supremacists. When, what we again, the, the real issues we need to worry about, crime in these inner cities, the people that are terrorizing black communities every single day, they don't want to do anything about that, right? We don't want to do nothing about that. In fact, they really want to go as far as to honor those people right not only do they not want to do anything about it um they want to embolden them by basically having soft phone crime policies that just allow them to keep you know committing crimes over and over again and terrorizing these communities uh when they die at the hands of a uh white police officer right whether justly or unjustly uh they want to then honor and celebrate those people and you know build statues and kneel for them and you know celebrate their anniversary of their deaths and, and do all that other stuff that that's what they want to do okay again the, the Democrat Party, man, they, they really are a clown show. They they really are. Okay? And and, and and stuff like this, political stunts like this, tells you exactly what they're about. They're simply not concerned about trying to stop this at all. They're simply concerned about trying to make the Republicans look bad and trying to keep power. That's what they're that's what they're about right now. That's the only thing they're about. And unfortunately that that is gonna cost kids their lives because they simply don't care. They don't. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.